Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our React.js e-commerce series where we are going to continue with how to edit our product's detail with the image and data. Okay, so guys, let's get started. So first, let's move to our view product page and on this edit button, let's go. So let's move to our React application. And this is our view product guys. And this is the table where we have fetched the data. And as simple, you can see this edit button. So let me just make it down. And now guys, let's create a route for this. So open and close curly brace, back tick, give edit product forward slash, give dollar and open close curly brace where you will pass the item of ID. So now let's copy this and create a route guys for this. So let's move to our routes.js file and let's copy this control CV. Let's make it to edit product forward slash colon ID. So this will take all your parameters value and let's give this name as edit product copy and paste for the component also. Perfect. So now guys, let's copy and paste and create a file with the name edit product under this product folder. So let's go to this product folder and create a new file edit.js. Okay, edit product.js. Perfect. So now guys, our page is ready. Let's get back. So now when we click on this edit page, we need to move on this. Perfect. So as simple guys, now what I want to tell, like when we edit the data. So when we edit the data, the form should be same as our ad product. So this, all this product and the category should be shown over there in our edit product. Okay. So let's copy this add product form guys and paste over there. So let's go to add product, click on add product and just give control A and select all guys. So if you have not watched out this, please watch out this add product of react.js, then come back to edit product guys. Now let's paste it. So first step, let's change the function name. Instead of add product, make it to edit product, copy and export defaulted guys. Let's move to last, paste, done. So let's get back to top, save guys. And now let's see the output. It should come as, let's go to view product and click on edit. So you can see this edit product slash two where you are getting this form. Okay. So now guys, let's change this title and see the output. Let's move below. Let me just minimize this submit product. This is the title guys, edit product. And this is view product. Okay. So which will go on back. Perfect. So now guys, what we have to do, we have to get the data. So all the data, if you are clicking with the ID two, the ID two data should come. So let's refresh and see the output over here. It should be shown as edit product. Cool. So now guys, let's get the data. Let's get back. So first step, let's move to our use effect function. So where is that use effect? It's over here. Let's write the code with the axios. So guys, first we need to get our parameter value. So this two, we need to get that. So let's create one const product underscore ID is equal to your props dot match dot params dot ID. Okay. So this props you will define in your function. So let's pass that props. And now guys, you'll get the product ID. Okay, let's create the axios a x i o s dot get method dot then function open and close where you will send the response. Let's create an API forward slash API forward slash edit product product forward slash with the ID your product ID. So now 
let's copy this and create a route guys for this so let's get back to a laravel application just create a route colon colon using get method because we are using get over there pass and we are sending a id with that url so you need to create that path also and then go back to your product controller let's send it and move to edit function so copy and go to your product controller and create a edit function guys as simple let's move below public function with the edit and you are getting the id so let's get that id and over here you are going to search with the products so let's create a variable called product is equal to your product model colon colon find function where dollar id if this is true else you will return response function with the json format where you will tell status which is once id is not found that means 404 and then give the message message will be your no product found that so if the product is found then you are going to show over here copy this variable product and send that under products variable so product and this status will be 200 guys so now first let us check the status let's get back to our react app give a if condition your response response dot data dot status is triple equal to 200 when it is success means you are going to set the product okay whatever data you get so what data you are going to get mm, let's console log and see guys first console dot log function where response dot data dot your product this variable let's send that and get back refresh console log inspect guys console so you can see that all the data is coming over here so id3 with many details okay so let's take all this data and print over here so as we have already set this data as, as i will show you over here in the form we have given that right product input of slug name so this product input so in this value attribute only we are going to paste the data so let's use this default one which we have done for the adding so let's get back this is the product input guys where you have set this so let's copy this set product state and open and close where you will directly what you have console that that you are going to show over here save and now whatever the data is there it will automatically print it so let's refresh okay so it's telling a react hook has missing dependencies okay so we need to pass this so let's get back you have taken this copy and paste inside this that's it now you can see guys the data has come perfect so let's refresh okay it's loading i think yep so guys let's set the loading because we are not coming to know its data is coming or what so as simple guys there is not much code in this so once this is actually a success you need to set loading okay set loading function where you will tell it to false and just you need to create a state for this let's get back let's copy and paste guys over here let me just give loading and this set loading what you have assigned over your set loading copy this and paste set loading and instead of array you need to give true and with this help of loading you can just show that 
before your return function using a if condition if this loading is true then you will return h4 where edit product data loading okay save and now let's see the output guys so you can see that edit product data loading and you can see the data is loaded perfectly cool so guys now let's select with the other product and see the output view product let's select with id1 where it will be default selected by mobile and redmi data has coming let's select with the two men's fashion it is right so let's edit by default it's selected men's fashion perfect so now guys let's update this data so let's get back and let's move to the form on this submit product instead of submit product let's rename to update product okay copy this and just change the function name so this is the submit product we will make it to update product now okay so before updating let me just i want to show one condition over here so guys you have one data two data what in case of five data if you give over here you will face some error it's edit loading just it will be showing okay and there will be no data right so for this case guys you need to give that also so where it is over here let's use else condition where you'll just paste this if your four not four so once if you found find that you need to import with the swell that is sweet alert open and close where the message will tell error response dot data dot message where you will give the icon as error so this message is coming from your laravel application where you have given over here okay so 404 status comes means you need to show no product found so let's see and you will get the message and let's redirect to um back to view product so you can just create that history dot push function okay where you will tell forward slash admin forward slash view hyphen product and you are using history so let's pass that give comma and pass it let's copy this history and create that first at the top so const history is equal to use history function so once if you use please import in your react router dom use history okay save and now guys let's see the output get back error no product found so it's redirected to view product page perfect so now let's move back cool so guys now let's update the data so let's continue that so we have created this right and these are the data guys how we are updating our data of your image and all the its details so we we are not going to change anything it's same as add product just you need to make a update product api where forward slash you need to pass the id so dollar open and close where you will tell product underscore id so from where you are getting this product id you will get from the url guys so as simple let's copy from here which we have created we have get that url okay so this product which we will get from the url this parameter id let's copy this product id and just pass that so inside this url and with the form data it will come and update that so before updating let's remove this we don't require because we are not going to unset anything over here all set let's copy the path guys and create a route in our laravel application so let's get back to our api.php create a route colon colon with the post method we are going to use post method only guys so let's forward slash with the id and let's move to the controller let's copy and paste create a update function copy go back to your product controller and start creating update function guys so let's 
public function with the function name update open and close where you are getting all the request so input requests dollar request with the id also you are getting from your parameter all set now guys let's copy the save data code okay so we have stored the data right so we are going to use the same code to save update the data okay so let's copy and just paste that set guys so now let's see the changes over here so once you're validating we don't want to validate the image so let's remove that image validation and other things as same and instead of saving the data we have to update the data guys so let's give find function over here with the dollar id so this dollar id you will get from your update function which you'll get from the parameter okay now you need to check if the id is found or not so for that guys you need to give if else condition else open and close okay control x let's move below paste it if the condition is true you will update the data okay so let's update and done guys for the image you need to change the code let's use uh, the path so to create the path guys let's create one variable and your path over here you are going to define so you can see that uploads and products inside products we are storing the images which is which comes under your public folder uploads and products guys so you need to call that path so we are not going to call path because we have already stored in our database so you can see under our image where you can specify the uploads product and the image path okay so we are going to call the variable let's get back so let's copy this product not this copy the product variable and just pass that over here with the image okay so this will be a path and now let's use if condition to check file colon colon exists function where you'll specify the dollar path if the path is found then you need to delete the old image and upload with the new image so let's use delete function to delete the image of this path so you'll be deleting the image and if you update with the new image it will update if you don't update it will just ignore that so guys this is the code for the deleting old image now let's move let's change the status to updated successfully and if else condition if the id is not found you can just show the message as product not found and this will be your status as 404 not 200 okay 404 let's save perfect guys and now let's get back to a react let's give 404 else if your response dot data dot status is triple equal to 404 so which means you will show the message as error where response dot data dot message error okay and you will redirect back to history dot push function where you'll be sent admin slash view product okay done guys so now guys let's test it so let's go back let's refresh once so there may be no cache let's open our developer tool that is inspect go to console log now guys let's update this samsung mobile j7 something okay let's copy and update your seo tag also over here and let's submit it so click submit 
let's see product updated successfully perfect guys so on the first let's refresh and see that the product is viewed with the j7 or not okay so you can see the name j7 has come seo tag perfect guys so our data is getting updated let's select with the mobile so mo samsung is a samsung mobile is a comes under mobile category so let's select with that mobile category submit cool so product updated successfully refresh once and to verify the data is coming correct cool guys so now let's test with the validation so i'm going to just remove that and click submit all fields are mandatory so let's enter the slug which is samsung samsung update cool and let's test the image guys where you can find this image one okay so this image we want to view the image let me just show you that this image whatever we are shown over here let's view that image guys as it is very simple you need to just go to this place let's move go to the image tag so this is the image tag guys let's use img close tag src is equal to where you are going to call the path so first path open and close open your tilde symbol back tick and copy the path first let's paste that and give dollar open and close curly brace where you will call the path name so what path name product input dot image okay where you will give width is equal to 50 pixel save and now let's see guys refresh edit product perfect let's move you can see guys the image has come so now let's update this image also and test it so let me just show you that public uploads products so this is the image let's change this image upload with other detail click let's select with the teddy bear and open let's submit okay product updated successfully so let's refresh go to other detail perfect guys so you can see that image is updated let's see that old image cool guys so that old image is deleted and updated with the new image so guys, we have successfully done with the edit product in our react.js with laravel api so guys in this video that's it and let's continue in next video with the checkbox input it okay so how this checkbox is going to work and how it works in react.js so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share